Hey, y'all. As you probably know, I'm Bart Ehrman. I'd like to thank you uh, for participating in the webinar I did last month, uh, raising funds for our graduate students in the Department of Religious Studies. Our fundraising series continues uh, with a great event that's tied in with the blockbuster movie Dune, which is just out. My colleagues, Carl Ernst and Michael Mohammed Knight are gonna do something unusually intriguing on how Islam is central to the movie and to the book it's based on. You don't have to have seen the movie to come. This talk's gonna be interesting either way. So please join us. Frank Herbert's Dune is a classic of science fiction and it's back in movie theaters. One of the intriguing aspects of this book is its strong engagement with Islamic themes, expressed by a large number of Arabic terms. What is the significance of all this? Religious studies can provide helpful insights. Michael Muhammad Knight and I will explore the book's connections with Islam. From the messianic rise of the Fatimid Caliphate a thousand years ago in North Africa, to the Sufi rebellion against Tsarist Russian imperialism in 19th century Chechnya. What is the secret of nomadic leaders who overthrow empires? Join us as we seek answers to these and other questions provoked by Dune. I'm thrilled to be joining Carl Ernst in a discussion of the science fiction classic Dune, where we'll be exploring its wealth of references to Islamic theology, mysticism, history, and cultures. Why did Frank Herbert load this work with so many references to Islam? How do these references contribute to the making of a science fiction landscape? And how do we, readers, moviegoers, insiders, outsiders, Muslims and non-Muslims, engage the Islam of Dune? There are many directions that our conversation can take. I'm excited for all of them. I'm looking forward to our conversation and I hope to see you there.